Your home internet connection has come a long way since the days of dial-up, but it still drives you crazy. One minute it's blazing fast, and the next minute your Netflix stream looks like an 8-bit video game. I'm Donald Bell, and in this top five, I'm gonna count down the best ways to make your home Wi-Fi faster and more reliable. Starting off at number five, change your channel. Most existing routers out there work in that 2.4 gigahertz band, which is crowded by microwaves and baby monitors in your neighbor's routers. Within the 2.4 gigahertz band, the least crowded channels are one, six, or 11. So give those a shot and see if things improve. Better yet, if your router has the auto mode for channel selection, this will automatically pick the best option for your environment. Better yet, try number four. Use the five gigahertz band. If your router and your devices support five gigahertz, then ditch the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum altogether. Any 802.11n or AC router will have this option. The air is much less crowded here and includes 23 non-overlapping subchannels. Most of these routers will also let you broadcast simultaneously in 2.4 gigahertz if you're feeling nostalgic. Coming in at number three, change your placement. I've seen a lot of routers and they either look like a time capsule from 2004 or like a chunk that fell off a spaceship. Either way, I can understand why you may have hidden yours in the back laundry room. Unfortunately, it's killing your reception. The ideal spot is in the center of your home, mounted on your ceiling. But that's probably a no-go for a bunch of reasons. So as a compromise, just tell me that you'll get your router off the ground, out of the cabinets, and in an open area that's closer to where reception matters. At number two, buy a new router. It may sound like a cop-out, but a modern router offers a ton of features we just didn't have a few years ago. Aside from that less crowded 5 gigahertz band I mentioned at the top, most 802.11n or AC routers also use an antenna technology called beamforming that can detect devices in your home and concentrate the Wi-Fi signal where you need it most. And finally, at number one, add an access point. If changing the router doesn't help, well, maybe your home is just too damn big. In this case, it's best to invest in an extra access point and put it at the other end of your home. If possible, connect the existing router and the access point using a network cable or a pair of power line adapters. By the way, many routers can be made to work as an access point just by changing a setting, so that old router you just replaced might come in handy.